So this is going to be a short video on future pinball display arrangement. I'm not going to get into the installation of future pinball on this particular one. This video is because people um, will have difficulties from time to time with future pinball, mostly because it likes to change the configuration settings on its own. So let's dive in. Uh, first thing you need to do and make sure of is the location of your screens. If you have a three screen setup, which is what typically what makes it more difficult. A two screen setup is um, a lot easier in general because you've only got two displays. So if one's right and one's wrong, you just swap display one for display two. But for this example, we're going to use a three screen setup. Um, if this was a 43 inch pinball, you'd have your uh, 4K play field, a 1920 by 1080 uh, back glass, or 1900 or 1920 by 1200. And this one can be any strange resolution which with future pinball I don't use any sort of DMD software so it really doesn't matter on that one we're just going to be using these and since I've already arranged these I'm going to go into C pinball future pinball now you can just set up the settings by going by running the future pinball executable but if you want to run a table and for it to look right you have to use the FP loader in uh, BAM which is better arcade mode and we've got FP loader right here. Now I have no idea whether this is correct or not. So we're gonna we're gonna fly by the seat of our pants. And we're gonna go to preferences, video rendering options, and it looks like I may have tinkered around in here because this 2560 by 1440, that's correct for the play field, 2560 by 1440. And what would be my back glasses, 1440 by 900 and we've got 1600 by so 1440 by 900 now this is pretty important too: the full screen the arcade mode the aspect same thing here but this one says widescreen the rotation is so that the table shows up correctly now there's a good chance that this is actually gonna work right uh, let's see bubble bobble loads really fast so I'm just gonna use that one for an example and it appears that it is loading correctly so I'm going to intentionally oh not quite actually the uh, that back glass doesn't look quite right hopefully it catches it in the capture uh, escape will get you out and what did I say my uh, 1440 by 900 and that is 1440 by 900 so let's just see if it's a uh, a setting within the emulator itself that can come in handy so I'm just gonna click play table again wait for it to load now this time I'm gonna hit the what they call the tilde key which is right above tab and then we're gonna go to table and lighting back box and see how this says manual we're going to change it to back glass stretch now that looks correct and then back to previous menu now if I was doing this as an update I would um, go back to the previous menu config and save as default uh, and then I can tilt back out and hit escape and then go back to I don't know why the back glass is staying up there but um, let's just close future pinball oh oops <laughs> actually oh yeah yeah that's fine uh, future pinball Okay, now what you're going to look for is these CFG uh, folders, or files rather. Shift, select all, and then control and uncheck default. Okay, so when I hit delete, I've only got default left there. So when I go to load another table, it should create a new configuration using that same uh, configuration I set for bubble bubble so 
Why not? Oh, bad file location. Let's just do Apollo 13. That should load pretty quick, too. Now, all of this stuff is my personal collection, but on the machines that I sell, these uh, file paths should be correct. All right, so that's a quick down and dirty. That's how it works. That's how you set up your screens. Uh, the next video I'll probably go into a little bit more detail uh, about the installation of Future Pinball and better arcade mode. But it's, it's really standard stuff, okay? So have a good one.